Right, so let's just give it a play. Nice, so let's duplicate that across. Yo, you're in Studio with Leon Switch, and today I thought it would be cool and maybe a little off the wall to try layering some dinosaur roars with a couple of sounds to add some texture. We start by layering a mid-range bass with some dinosaur roars and then twist the resampled Reese with the setup we created in the mid-range bass with Ableton Stock plugins for you. We then move on and we layer a dinosaur roar with a pad. Although rather obscure, the results end up being usable and you are hearing the different edits of the sounds we make in this video in the background track. Please like, subscribe and leave some comments and then go check out the new membership sections on both my YouTube and Patreon. I hope you find this insightful and helpful and let's get to the video. Okay, so I've launched Ableton and I've loaded the twisted bases with the Ableton Stock Plugins um, arrangement because it's just a handy place, a uh, handy thing to have open. Uh, it's got the whole um, workflow there for twisted Reese's, for twisted bases. And what I figured was, was that we could make a Reese, we can grab one of these dinosaur noises in and we can basically just sort of pair them up and then we can record them both, resample them both together um, and then we can twist them up. So I figured this would be a really easy way of doing it. Everybody can follow along then. Uh, these are just copyright free dinosaur noises straight from YouTube that I, I downloaded uh, and I then cut up in Ableton and normalized them and that kind of stuff. I'll give you a quick play of them. Super cool. So as you can hear, uh, my monitor volume is is down, so that it's um that's why they're so quiet. But as you can see, they're 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 cool noises. So what we'll do is we'll grab a another sampler and we'll just drop one of them into a sampler. So let's grab that. Let's put that onto the next channel down. And this is our dinosaur channel now. So basically, we come back to these samples now. Uh, there was one here that I. There you go, that one. I, I like them all. I'm not going to lie, I like them all. But I just, I don't know which one's going to work well with a Reese, which one isn't. This is a complete experiment. I have done this before with the dinosaur noises, and I don't remember what I did, but it worked really, really well. So I figured we'd just, we'd run through it. It's another fun way of making new textures and new bases. And um, and it also reiterates how handy it is to have like the twisted, the twisted bass thing set up, just so that you can just go back to it. So anyway, right, so let's grab, so let's give that a quick play. So this is uh, C3. Nice, so we go up an octave, that's C4. And then down an octave, we've got C2. Nice, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the snap on. I'm gonna turn the interpolation to best interpolation. I reckon we're probably gonna use the, the original pitch of it, but let's have a little look. So let's have a look at a Reese now. And what have we got here? So this is Wavetable. This is the original Reese that we made in the tutorial. Um, so, so that's pretty cool. So let's um, let's just adjust this a little bit. So let's maybe just drop the, the filter a touch on this. In fact, so let's have a look. Let's just change the shape up here. Um, so let's go. Let's go pulse p pulse 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 whip. Oh, actually, I quite like that. That's nice. Um, so let's now do the same thing again. Pulse, pulse width. Nice. Okay, that'll do us. So let's now basically draw in a long note of this. So if I insert a MIDI clip, I can now basically just come down to F1. We'll draw in a long note of that. And now we can just come back to this dinosaur channel and we can have a play of the pitch and just see how, if it works, see if it sounds all right, see what it sounds like. Okay, pitch is good. As far as I can hear in the headphones, that pitch is cool. So let's 
draw this in. So, and it was just C3 that I played, so let's draw a long note of that and see how long this, this actual noise is. Okay, so it is relatively short. So what we'll do is we'll just, we'll grab that one there um, and let's, we could copy that a couple of times to be fair. So let's do that. Okay, and then let's grab the, um, let's grab another sampler. Let's come into here and let's grab the next. Uh, okay, so let's do this in order. We might as well make our lives easier. So we'll grab the first one in here. We'll put this above this one because we know that this is number one. They're numbered here as well. Uh, but we also know that when our on bar, excuse me, um, so we've used, we're on bar five. Just gonna pause you a sec. Well, this cold is kicking my butt. But we know that we're a bar five with that. So let's just um, let's just draw a couple more notes in. I don't know how long these are, or well, whatever it's gonna sound like. So let's just give it a play. Nice, so let's duplicate that across. And now let's grab another sampler. We could even just duplicate this. Control D and then zoom out on here. Literally just move these along. And just grab another. Let's try that, that sounds cool. So let's come to here, let's just drag this into here. Uh, let's, oh, we're, just, we're using the original pitch so we haven't got to worry about the interpolation. That's cool, I like that one a lot. Um, Brilliant. And then we've got a couple more here. There's one, this one. I really want to get that in there. So let's just, once again, let's duplicate this. Let's grab this. Um, sorry, let's come to here. Let's drag this in. There we go. And now we can just come into this part here. We know that this is the last, the very last part of the bar. Come across, here we go, of the loop, sorry, so there we go. So that now, we've got dinosaur roars all the way along. Oh, let me just double check on the link. Perfect. So uh, these are super loud, I think, in comparison to the, to the Reese. So I've highlighted all of them. Let's bring the volume down them and let's just have a little listen. Love that last one. Okay, so let's record this and let's see let's see what it's saying. Um, so this should be the record channel if I remember rightly, resampling. So if I hit record on there and we come to the beginning here, I'll hit F9 and that will start us recording. Sorry, I muted my mic. Um, okay, so we are recorded, that's cool. So let's grab now, let's come to this channel here, which is our Twisted Reese. As we can see, we've got a load of stuff going on here. So let's open this up. Let's come to the sample part here and let's just drag this into here. And we should now have our Reese pretty much twisted. Um, this channel here. So if I now play this on, along the keys. Wow. 
So that's got potential. You know, that's got potential being quite cool. So let's adjust some of this. Some of the bits at the beginning are lovely. Okay, so it's got potential. Um, it sounded a little bit odd, but I think that we can, um, I think we can work with this. So let's have a quick look at this compressor here. Cause that... Okay, so I'm gonna drop some of this volume here. I also wanna control this. So I think that our, our low, it's just going too low, so I want to bring this up. Also bring some of this down. just playing here with the amount of LFO um, the amount of the LFO the amount of the modulation that the LFO is sending out let's try this changing the, the times a little bit Okay, so there's something quite cool happening now. We're getting a bit more movement here, a bit more solid movement. So it's very different. I think that we're gonna give it a go and just see what happens with it. So let's draw in a long note of this. Uh, where are we? Insert a MIDI clip. And I'm just gonna draw in C3. And we're just gonna have that so that it's the entire length of that. There we go. And we're literally just gonna now record this into here. So I now need to solo the, the twisty brace and I need to just record it into here. I don't know if this is going to sound any good or not. But we'll see. Well, it's interesting. 
So let's now grab a, um, let's come to here, which is our, our, our sampler. Let's solo this channel and let's turn the um, activate button on, which has got it there. So we can now double click on this and we can drag this straight into the sampler and we should now have across our keys, the dinosaur mixed with the Reese. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got the glide is on, which is perfect. We've got the uh, snap point on and the interpolation on. So let's move the start point about. Wow, already. <laughs> there's some cool things gonna happen with that. So I genuinely didn't think that was gonna work particularly well. It was really to stop recording, um, but listen to that. Nice, so let's move this along some more. Let's move along some further. Nice. Potential. Massive potential. That's super cool. You can see how that just adds something in there, you know? Like, super cool. Well worth a look at. Well worth a play with. So, you know. That. Okay, so we go a little bit toy towny. I just want to see how that would sound if we maybe dropped some of the filter on it a touch. Let's try some filter envelope. something there I really like. Okay, let's have a quick play here. Okay, so let's try some more reverb on this. We can always reset it. Okay, 
just wow. Really nice. Let's try moving this around some more. Super low, just completely out of interest. I mean, there's no chance it's gonna sound good, but. So we could try just bringing a start point in. That's a cool noise. Understand that there's loads of reverb on there, but nice anyway, super cool. So let's continue. Let's have a let's keep going through. Let's turn this uh, back to normal. So let's turn the let's just turn the filter off. Nice, and let's just bring this through. See that that's quite cool you know we get some really interesting results you know some of these bits back here like with the reverb and stuff that was just that was sweet like out of all of it that for me nice it finishes the phrase there as well we could even bring the end point here just to make like a single bass out of it Sort of start point out here. We could go there, but just give it some attack. Let's turn the filter envelope off. Just reset that a little bit there. One of that would be on like a band pass. Let's go to so a 12 pole band pass. Super cool, super, super cool. So let's just try one more thing while we're here. I wanna try layering one of these bass noises um, with a pad. So let's see how that, see see what we can get out of that kind of thing. I'm thinking that we'll process one of the bass noises so that it is pretty swimming. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna just basically just launch a, a, um, a new sampler here. So instruments um, sampler. And we'll just go through. I've got a bass noise in mind, a dinosaur noise in mind. That one. That's what I'm thinking. So we could drop the volume here a touch because that's quite a big output. Okay, so first things first, snap on, and we'll put the in interpolation to best. And we'll just sort out a bit of an, an amplifier envelope here. 
Nice, and let's give it some release. Let's turn the, the R off. I wonder if this one, we can get a pitch on this one. So let's have a quick look here. Let's go audio effects and let's go utilities and then tuner. Okay, so we're sort of C, C sharp. So let's tune this here and let's just see if we can see if we can do something with this. So let's bring this down. Okay, so I'm going to pretend that that's C and we'll... um. We'll leave it there for a second, and let's just have a let's just have a little look here, see what we can do with like some sort of pad. So I'm going to go to the um, instruments here. I'm going to grab analog, and I'm just going to bring that in. And it's going to be a very simple pad, but it could be quite cool. Once that eventually loads, there we go. And we'll leave it on um, the sawtooth for a second. Let's just drop the volume here, the, the volume, the cutoff filter, uh, just for a sec. <laughs> And let's also sort out this uh, filter envelope. Nice. So let's bring this down a touch. I don't want it to. I don't want it to open too much. So let's grab some unison and let's give it some detune. And we'll turn the voices up to four. Nice, and let's look at the amplifier envelope now. And once again, let's make this into a pad. So let's bring the decay up and we'll bring the attack in. We can do it via the numbers, it makes a bit more sense. And once again, the release, we'll give it quite a bit of release. And I just wanna come back to the, um, the master sort of section here as it was and turn the voices up to 16 for a second. And let's just go with that. So we'll see where we're at with that. We could even give it a touch of detune on the two oscillators. Um. There we go, not too much. Let's come down a touch of this one. Nice. So what we will do now is, that is a lot of release, so let's turn some of that release off. Um, 13 seconds, oh no, that's fine. That's the release I want to bring down. Okay, that's fine. So what we'll do now is we will grab um, the Valhalla Supermassive uh, because we know that that just makes things swim in. Um, so Valhalla, Valhalla Supermassive. And we will just close that up. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off of there. I'm now gonna put these both into a group. Here we go. Um, and then I mean, we can still process them separately, but I'm going to now paste the Valhalla Supermassive onto the group. So it's gonna affect both the dinosaur noise and the pad at once. I'm gonna to go to my default preset here, which you can see the settings here, and I'm just gonna turn up the lower touch. So Hydra mode, and there the other settings. Um, let's have a quick click on there. Very nice. So what we'll do now is we'll now turn on both these channels and like we'll activate both the channels for, for the keyboard and we'll just grab the, um, the dinosaur noise and we'll bring this right down for a second and we'll just see what happens. Let's also bring the pad noise down a touch, but. So I think with some, some sort of clever sort of placement, I think this could be quite interesting. So let's try something like a high pass. Let's bring this down to here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two seconds. Okay, I don't know how long my camera had been out for. Uh, but anyway, we're exactly where we were, apart from I'm now moving in the camera. Um, so let's try that again. So there's something lovely about the beginning of that. Let's turn the um, dinosaur noise off. 
you can hear immediately that it, it adds something into that sound. That's super cool. So let's try some random stuff with this very quickly. Let's grab a loop mode. So let's go forwards and backwards. In fact, before we do that, let's just try it in reverse. Let's bring this in. Let's bring this into here and let's see what happens. Really nice. Let's try bringing the volume up on that a touch. You would never know what that was. There you go, there's the original. Oh, I love it. Especially with the other pad as well. So we could have this so that it does loop. Uh, I think that could work quite nicely. So let's go forwards and backwards. Let's bring these points in. That's just going to be completely random. I'm going to give it some crossfade. I don't know what it's going to sound like, but if I'm totally honest, it doesn't really matter. It's just a texture in the background. So let's try. Wow, just wow. So what we could also try is maybe just giving the um, the pad some, some noise. Um, so let's just bring the volume down on the noise here. Let's have a listen. Nice. So I should imagine that's quite subtle. Let's listen to it without the dinosaur noise. Let's turn the noise off. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the, the colour here. Let's turn the colour up so it's a bit more top endy. That's more what I'm after. Uh, I think that could work. That could work quite nicely. So let's turn the dinosaur noise back on. Let's try that. Just a single note, very low. See how that sounds. So if we turn it off, it's cool. We turn it back on. There's just an extra kind of dimension in with it, you know? It's super cool. So what we could do is we could maybe just record in like a, a long note of this. So if I come to here and I go to C3, uh, let's insert a MIDI clip and we'll just put in a long note of C3 here. Oh, let's change the chord size, it's gonna make my life easier. Let's come along to there. Brilliant, and then we could do with just Copying that down onto there, we'll just give it a listen to quickly, just double check it. Nice. So let's create an audio channel here. And now let's go to resampling. Let's hit the record button here. And let's resample that. Let that 
whenever it's ready to finish there, which that will be fine. Brilliant. <coughs> Excuse me. So we should now just grab a, an instrument. We'll grab a sampler again. Pop this onto the next channel down. And we'll just drag this audio straight into the sampler. And we should now, in theory, if I solo this channel, we should now have that, that pad and dinosaur sort of bounce together. And now pitching across the keys. Nice. So what we'll do is we'll now process this one separately. So there we go. So best intervallation. Put the snap on. Let's come to the um, filter global and let's adjust the amplify the envelope, sorry, um, so that we've just got something that's pad like. There we go. So two, just over two seconds attack, similar to for the release. We'll turn the R off. Six voices is okay for us for the second, and then we could always play with the the filter if we wanted to. But let's see how that sounds across the keys now. Really nice. So let's copy this Valhalla and let's put that onto the onto this channel here. There we go. So we've now got that pad with the with the dinosaur noise built in, and we've now got Valhalla as well. Um, I'm going to change the shape of the <coughs> of the release tail there. I want that to, to to last a bit longer before it dies. Uh, and let's have a let's have a play. Really, really nice. So there we go. I think that was quite an interesting use of dinosaurs and basses and dinosaurs and pads, you know, and, and just merging noises to create new textures. Uh, let's just have a quick click on this Reese again and see how this is sounding. Put the filter on here, didn't we? That's nice. So let's just zoom out here and let's... Almost pig-like to a certain degree, but... Really cool. And there you go. But that pad... That's some special business. I really like that. And it just has the enough movement in there to just keep it, keep it interesting, you know? So anyway, on that note, I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you. Um, big up, I apologize about my sniffing and coughing and spluttering and everything throughout the, uh, throughout the video. Um, this is my second week of this now and, and I'm, I need to be making videos, it's not cool. Anyway, go check out the members section, um, things are really picking up. And also members get all of the parts for, for all of the videos, um, plus discounts for the store. And uh, like, um, we've got a lot of things going on. Anyway, much love, thanks for watching. I hope you found that insightful and helpful. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff and I will catch you in the next one. Here we go.